Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're going to have a look also into the Bitcoin dominance. And before we start with the content, my friends, a little side note uh, in regards to XRP, because currently the SEC, as you know by now, has a lawsuit against uh, the owners of XRP. And I don't want to go too much into the details of this possible big problem that XRP is going to face here in the very close future. Of course, the price is dumping right now. And uh, I just want to tell you that what we're seeing right now with XRP can happen to all of these altcoins. So Bitcoin is really the only one that the SEC cannot attack directly because in Bitcoin you don't have an owner or a company that is running Bitcoin. This is the community, this is our big crypto family, this is our strongest community and that's why I'm a very big fan of Bitcoin and I'm almost a Bitcoin maximalist because of that. So why I'm also owning some altcoins and also trade some altcoins is in order to try to accumulate more Bitcoin. So all the profits that I'm taking with these altcoins when I do some swing trades is in order to then when I have profits to swap it over back into Bitcoin. This is the only reason why I have also some of the, these altcoins, especially some of the DeFi space. If you know, want to know my DeFi portfolio, you can also contact me over on Discord. But this is also where I'm sharing my portfolio usually. And that's why Bitcoin and no one can attack. And that's why it's also the most secure and safest cryptocurrency and also the most secure one. That's why also Bitcoin is here in rank number one and with the highest market cap. There is a reason why Bitcoin is still a number one since its inception and not any other of these altcoins. Some of them, they work better, they are faster, you can do more transactions, they are cheaper and so on. But Bitcoin remains always the most decentralized cryptocurrency and also the safest from all of them. So that's why my friends make always sure that you own at least 90% of your crypto portfolio in Bitcoin. If you have some altcoins, of course, it is also good to have some of them maybe some of them will even outperform Bitcoin but it's very difficult to catch the right ones and if you believe in a project it's of course nice also to have some of those coins but all in all make always sure that you have enough Bitcoin because this is the safest and most guaranteed way to have profits in the future all right my friends and now let's start with the content now let's take away this XRP FUD that is going on right now let's focus here on the Bitcoin price because currently here in the four hour time frame as it is by now it looks like that maybe we could form here a head and shoulders pattern we have here the left shoulder the head and here this potential right shoulder only if we would take out this high that we had here at around twenty four thousand two hundred dollar this pattern would be denied so so far it looks like that this could play out especially if we're getting again rejected here at this twenty four thousand dollar area so the pump that we are seeing right now looks like that it's almost over and here we could get rejected but let's see what will happen in the next couple of hours i think bitcoin most likely is gonna start to trade sideways especially now during the christmas holidays i'm not pretty convinced that we will see a big move in the next couple of hours and days but if so i think it is very likely that we will see potentially our 20k retest so a big move to the downside to potentially retest this new potential support which previously was our biggest resistance so far this 20k area and why i think also that this scenario could happen is because of the video that we did yesterday where i told you that since we broke out now from this rising wedge it is very likely that bitcoin is gonna retest this new resistance which previously was support now it should be acting as a resistance here along this red trend line and therefore i'm expecting here to get rejected and then we will see after this confirmation a big drop towards the 200 moving average here in the four hour time frame which is right now exactly at this uh, 20k 
area which now should be holding as a support so if we drop lower here this is where we should expect some support so where we could see a potential bounce and then we're gonna have to see if we're able to go again towards 24,000 and higher or if we are building now new resistances here at around 24 to 22,000 and then continue here the dump which could even take us towards 15 to 14,000 so the four hour time frame is still looking like that we're gonna see here price action to the sideways here maybe we could even fall lower towards 20k in the very close future so so far we're getting rejected from this new resistance so watch out here if we're gonna go higher than 24,200 I think we could go towards 30k but if not if here we're not able to go above $24,200 and also close at least a four hour candle above, then be prepared to see this possible correction at least towards 20K in the very close future. And here also in the Bollinger Bands, you can see that we are moving sideways here, just up and down here through this channel. We have currently all the indicators shifted to the downside. Stochastic is now trading sideways here in neutral condition. Let's see if we are able to close this four hour candle above $23,400. In that case, we could see another $24,200 retest, so the top of the Bollinger Band. But if here we are getting rejected, then be prepared to go at least again towards $22,500 potentially even towards 20k even today or in the next couple of days because uh, right now Bitcoin also here in the RSI in the four hour is trading right at the 50 level so we are in a very critical point here in the lower time frames we are right now deciding if we're gonna head higher here or lower so it's gonna be very interesting where we're gonna close the next couple of four hour candles and if we go over into the daily time frame here you can see that again we bounced exactly at the nine daily moving average so now we have three days with a test of this moving average and as you know by now the more we test the moving average the weaker it gets so i think it is very likely that if we're gonna test it a couple of more times we're gonna fail to have this support here at the nine daily moving average and we're gonna crash towards the 20 daily moving average right here twenty thousand five hundred we also have a confirmed sell signal right now here in the daily money flow is a little bit coming down but so far it could also be that we're gonna see another big bounce to the upside even though we have a sell signal but currently we don't have here too much money flow exiting the market here so it is still possible that we're gonna see a big bounce to the upside here but of course uh, we have now a sell signal RSI is still very overbought so here we could maybe cool off towards the 50 level and therefore we're gonna see potentially this 20 daily moving average retest here so this 20k incoming very soon and also if you have a look into the Bollinger Bands in the daily you can see that currently we're still trading right at the top here so even if we would come down here to the middle line here of the 20 daily moving average at 20,500 we will still remain on our bullish way to the upside and even a close below the 20 daily would maybe take us towards the $16,300 area so the bottom of the Bollinger Band but if we're coming down to these levels it is very likely that we're gonna start to trade between 15 to $14,000 because this is where we have the 20 weekly moving average which is a very important support during a bull run and in the day you can also see that we have MACD and KST still shifted to the upside everything is still looking good here only stochastic right now shifted to the downside it's cooling off right now so let's see if we bring here this indicator down to oversold condition or at least into the middle line here of the 50 level so we still have some room left to the downside here based on the stochastic let's see what will happen here in the next couple of hours and since we are in the daily right now let's have a look into the bitcoin dominance because as you can see we broke out from this resistance line here at 67 percent and currently the dominance is spiking to the upside as expected and the next target could be here this 75 percent area so i think bitcoin now is heading towards the 75 percent dominance before maybe we're gonna top out and then maybe see some altcoins again pumping but currently as you can see here all the altcoins are in red while bitcoin is still going sideways that means that a lot of money from altcoins is now floating into bitcoin and that of course can also be a bit dangerous for bitcoin because most of the times when you have profits in altcoins or you want to take money out you first have to swap it over into bitcoin and then from bitcoin into fiat 
money or into tether so that means that maybe we could see now first the bitcoin dominance coming up towards 75 percent and then there some people maybe are going to take out some profits back into tether or into fiat that is possible but this is what we're gonna have to see once we are topping out here in the dominance and of course uh, that could lead into such a correction that could take us again towards 20k maybe even lower so what we are seeing right now is the first stage of a possible correction of course not only in the altcoins but also in the bitcoin price and now let's go over into the weekly because here of course everything is still looking very bullish for bitcoin but if we're gonna see a correction right now or at least in the next couple of days the targets are still here the nine weekly moving average right here at eighteen thousand five hundred dollar or if we're gonna drop below then watch out at the 20 weekly moving average right at fourteen thousand five hundred dollar you can also see that this moving average is coming now very close to our previous main resistance here this green line which should now be acting as a new support right at $15,300 and that's why I think this price level down here is very likely to be retested and also confirmed as a new support so we can create a new bottom and then have a big bounce to the upside which potentially will also lead us towards 30k and higher so let's see if this correction will happen right now or at least in the next couple of days before reaching 30 we still could reach before this correction 30k but as it is right now I'm still a bit more convinced that we're gonna face here first a bigger correction before we're heading towards new all-time highs and with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now be ready to scale in some nice long positions over on Bybit and Femex if you want to take as much gains as possible if we are seeing a bigger correction and also if you don't want to trade at your own try out Prime XPT because here you can copy trade other successful traders currently they are all in negative so usually it is good to join them when they are in negative so once they're gonna be again so much profitable like this one here you can do very very nice gains and if you're still in an account over on Bybit, Femex or Prime XPT make sure to use my invitation links down below here so you support the channel and also you will get some extra money some extra bonus that you can use for trading or also to pay the fees when you're entering a trade. I also would very much appreciate if you can hit that like button here and subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and also you can follow me over on Twitch and Discord. Down below are the links to my other channels and in Discord we have a very great crypto family so make sure to join also our free trading chat and this is also where you can get access to my uh, buy and sell signal for Bitcoin. This is a live stream that is going on over on Discord. So if you want to get access to it, you can contact me over on Discord. And if you're new in the crypto space, make sure to open up an account over on Binance, Swissborg and Coinbase. With my links, you will get some extra money to buy even more cryptos. And with these three exchanges, you are ready for the upcoming bull market because with these three exchanges, you can buy all kind of cryptos that you want, especially over on Binance you can buy all the altcoins that you want so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye